professionals this is utkarsh kumar rai and today i am going to talk about stuck at middle management how to use analog mind to grow into a senior management role around a decade back i had an interesting conversation with an hr veteran where i asked why many middle management professionals do not grow beyond a certain career level he said senior management positions are just like a club membership it is by invitation only beyond a particular career level all positions are like club membership where membership is restricted just like in any other club there are explicit requirements and then there are implicit requirements people apply against explicit requirement but the club screens and interviews the person to find it out whether they are meeting the implicit requirement that is a fitment into the club culture many middle management professionals apply against the explicit requirement but they do not meet implicit requirement that is they do not fit into the senior management culture subjectivity comes into play in this century with the advent of digital age we are moving away from subjectivity and towards objectivity in the past in the school and college examination there were long subjective questions but now most of the questions are multiple choice objective ones in the past managers used to write paragraphs about what they feel about employee in their appraisal but now appraisal is basically to check against the measurable goal and the actual result this century is forcing us to use our analog mind that is right brain lesser and lesser subjectivity is based on our emotions and feelings which reside in our right brain no wonder middle management professionals who have grown by using their analytical skills that is left brain suddenly feeling handicapped when they face rejection based on subjectivity that is implicit requirement i was coaching a middle management professional who was struggling to grow into a senior management role in the last few years i gave him a situation if you have a visible role in your team and your other panel members have already given you a go ahead what you are going to look into the person as a hiring manager he said i will find it out whether she is a good team player and whether she can meet our company culture i asked what yardstick or guideline you will apply for teaming and fitment into company culture without blinking his eyes he said i will go by my feeling he himself is using subjectivity even at mid management position the role of subjectivity increases a lot when you move to the senior management role dr tara swart said if you are feeling physically agitated or there are signs of burnout it is a sign that you are sticking to the default pathway of thinking and not applying your whole brain she further said raise your awareness in knowing what is happening interpersonally in your team or in your project ask open questions make eye contact and use your intuition as much as you use your logic so professionals if you have to grow further you have to use your whole brain and that is not only left brain which you are used to use it but also apply using your analog mind that is right brain so watch my video until the end where i am going to share three characteristics of analog mind which will help you to grow further in your career and if you have not already liked and subscribed to my channel then please do it also watch my other video your childhood has an impact on your behavior at work how to reflect and rectify first use your gut according to a harvard study conducted by jagdish pari 13000 executives credited using left and right brain skills for their leadership style and credited 80% of success to their right brain intuition in this century leaders are inundated with data and they are tempted to make decision based on data even if data is pointing out something obvious you have to use your analog mind that is intuition to make a decision use your gut and use data as a support otherwise a robot can also make a decision based on data second read body language our ancestors were very good in communicating with each other using body language and gesture civilization after civilization human come up with a language and that became a mode of communication and the importance of reading body language and gesture has reduced but in this century we started using text as a mode of communication which has further reduced the opportunity to use body language and gesture 
remote working and always connected with digital device has further reduced the opportunity to interact with people and to read their body language and gesture. Tell me, when was the last time when you have focused more on reading your manager's body language rather than interpreting what the manager voice or text said? Learn the habit of reading body language of your manager, co-worker and stakeholders and that is going to give you the right message of what they are feeling and give you an opportunity to rectify. This reading body language is also one of the important features of your analog mind and is a key for a leadership growth. And third, connect with people and situation. There are certain professionals who are much sought after because they have a special skill in dealing with peculiar situation or be at ease with strangers. They will always find a way to go around. They effectively use emotion to connect with people and situation. In my college Silver Jubilee reunion, there are a good number of people who have done better than the rest and majority of such people are having this key skill, social skills to connect with people and situation. They might not have scored higher grades in their college, but such skills were visible in their college days too. This social skill of connecting with people and situation is a key leadership skill and again resides in your analog mind. So professionals for your future career growth, you have to use your whole brain, not just your left brain, but you start exercising your right brain that is analog mind. Albert Einstein, a rational thinker and one of the highest IQ in the world at that time also admitted the importance of right brain. He said, the intuitive mind is a sacred gift and the rational mind is a faithful servant. We have created a society where we are honoring the servant and forgetting the gift. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel.